Okay, all right. Okay, do we still do a clap, or you just don't? No, even, we don't do a just, clap. Okay. See, he comes back, and now I we have back, to explain that you have to explain every how shitty single everything thing is has now? gone to shit. Yeah, that's all we talked yeah. about while you were gone. Is oh, that yeah, we cried and cried gone. and cried and complained. Okay. Because you were gone, and we didn't have anybody to do stuff like turn all these little knobs. Yeah. Well, Someone, you don't touch the knobs. <laughs> yeah. That's so, the first. That's your first mistake. Well, these here's knobs my, don't have to move uh, at all. This is the first thing that is it's a, the, my problem. It's the faders. The first and thing I was is touching that all the. I didn't. Uh, you. I was rotating these cables. I was trying to. They don't want to yeah. give. Ro- rotating them. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to rotate them to change them? the volume. Like sw- oh, switch they, them. Oh, like this. Yeah, but they I didn't understand. work at all. They don't. No, you rotate these ones. Yeah. That does something. Yeah. I there's tell there's the not enough, enough dials on this soundboard. There's well, a lot there's of a bunch buttons. of virtual ones. See, check, oh. see, look, look see, at this. Okay. See I thought that was we right. need his tech wizardry back because I I wanted to install Doom on this the whole damn time. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, do you think we could Doom Eternal? You can honestly install Doom anything on anything. Damn. Whoa. But can it run any crisis? type of Doom on? Yes. Wow. wow. You can install Crisis on Doom these days. Vr- fuck me. Yeah. Could you build a Minecraft computer? Did you guys ever watch these videos? These yeah, guys, they build the computer. They build stuff Red in Minecraft stone. out of some kind of stone. I'm not sure what color it was. Redstone. But they built some redstone. kind of... Well, it, Named agree after to the disagree. CEO of I don't think it was red. Sumner Redstone. Red, redstone. But whatever this stone is they use, they made a Pokemon game and they made a Tetris in yep. Pokemon Minecraft. Red. Yep. Was the for first the stone. Pokemon game. For the, because of the stone. stone. Can we stop fucking arguing? You've been here five minutes. We're already I'm arguing. I'm not starting any arguments. I'm so, arguments. so, I'm arguing. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so, so happy to have you back. It was so I'm happy peaceful, to be back. Though. Can I tell you, I'm so happy to be back in the United States. Yeah. I really... Can I say something completely honestly from the bottom of my heart? I want you to. Every time I go... Because I, I went to Mexico this year. Yes. I love so worldly. I, loved, I don't think I've you've been ever really world. I have never been worldly. this worldly before. This is the year of my being worldly. You're traveling. I went for to. Us, I went to Mexico. I went to yeah. Mexico. Okay, and I thought this is incredible. This mm-hmm. is the best country I've ever been in in my life. Uh-huh. This is. I'm having a beautiful time. I'm seeing beautiful things. I'm meeting beautiful people, mm-hmm. and friendly people who aren't beautiful. Um, <laughs> And that's, and that's okay. And by I'm the thinking, way. And, and it's I'm, okay to not be beautiful well, if you are friendly. Well, if you're, if you're very friendly, it's okay to not be beautiful. If you're not friendly though, and you're ugly, I can smack you what legally. Yeah. Man. Legally, it's easy. I can to do. smack yeah. the shit out but of I'm you. But I'm thinking maybe the U.S. Maybe you know maybe all my life maybe the U.S. just is it sucks. Maybe it's if it's not as good as Mexico. Yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. I, maybe I'm mistaken. I go to Ireland. The U.S. is a million times better than Ireland. Of course, yeah. Ireland it sucks. Is. Dick. Thank you. It's horrible. Yes. Can I t- can I tell you a fun fact? What about yeah. here's something you might not know about about Irish people that I learned tell from me. our tour guide. Okay. So apparently, one of the most unique things about Irish people is uh, a social custom they have only in Ireland. Apparently, these people they drink socially. Wow, <laughs> that's what they told you. And it's actually customary really? for when. An Irishman goes to a pub. Mm-hmm. He'll actually sometimes buy a round of drinks for his friends. And this wow. is a sh- social custom in Ireland oh, that kind of defines their culture. That actually would be nice to do here. To drink socially? I know. It's a shame that only I've Ireland does that. About yeah. that. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a, a custom they built their. And also, here's another fact I learned not from the tour. Well, indirect, the tour guide didn't tell me this, but I learned indirectly through the tour guide's actions, okay. which is that Irish people. Every day for lunch, they eat Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> really? You just learned this from obser- observation. They have they have restaurants. They, they have restaurants that are like Chipotle, but for Thanksgiving. Dinner. Turkey. You gravy. pick you pick turkey or ham, and then you pick mashed potatoes or roast potatoes, <laughs> you and then you pick cabbage. And you have that. They have the 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 sneeze shields, uh-huh. and oh. they go through the metal cafeteria. I, okay. To, and Ugh. it's the worst food you've ever eaten in your life. I imagine oh. it's really bad, but sometimes and they I, call it carvery. Sometimes I kind of want. Oh yeah, but you that's carve but a that's but that's what I'm saying. That's there. But that's, so yeah, of course. Sometimes you kind of want that, right? Yeah. But which also well, I, I you, here's, here's also you want you want the mashed potatoes, you want the meat, you don't want the boiled carrots and the boiled yeah. cabbage. That shit is fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's a nasty thing. Um, I it want tastes like literally nothing. But here's yeah. Sometimes you want that. Of course, sometimes you want yeah. that. That's why we have Thanksgiving. We get it once a year. 
maybe twice a year if you have a special the whole, family. Whole month of or uh, if you eat leftovers. But these people, they have a restaurant. Every restaurant does this. Every this restaurant. This is their meal. That's, the that's their meal yeah. that they. That's, that's what they do. That is their hot dogs. They say they, that's, they that's go what to they the get. Yeah. They're, instead of being like, I'm gonna go get sweet green at lunch. They're like, I'm gonna go get Thanksgiving dinner. So I have a question. <laughs> they I go to the carvery in in the in betweeners. In the first episode, that's I have not a Ireland. You can't slap me. That's sorry, really it's slap. not okay to do that. I'm sorry that I forgot no, how strong I am. Whoa! <laughs> you are the ultimate now. slapper. That's uh-uh. the first time I ever slapped you. Yeah. You slapped what me are you all day. About? What are you talking about? You about? That's the first time I've ever slapped you. You slap all the time, you. but I don't complain because no. you're weak. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Were the people in Ireland? You better. You slap me again. That coffee's going. Were they as big <laughs> and as fat? As you so could possibly imagine. Here's a, yeah, yeah, here's another. Red. Here's another How Ireland fact. How do you get fat of, eating that that's shit? That's what I'm saying. Here's another Ireland fact. You think you okay, mean? America's America's the. <laughs> How do you get fat eating Thanksgiving every day? <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> and drinking Guinness, four Guinnesses every night. Guinness is a low calorie beer. Guinness at lunch. Uh, is it really? Yeah. Should it's I only four percent alcohol. Yeah, it's low alcohol percentage. Low alcohol percentage. Yeah. Isn't that funny? You all, they, they, uh, that's the other thing they do. Like, yeah, we drink like eight Guinnesses a night, and yeah. they're like, it's actually two percent alcohol. Yeah, and yeah it's totally, I think it's ninety that's calories. Like our, that's a Rattler. Like, and what eight the hell? Twelve nothing. ounce pour is like barely hundred calories. They're pussies. Oh. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So the, uh, people in America are fat. You'll hear that from the news and the media, and you walk around. Maybe you'll see some chubby yeah. people. But maybe. I would say maybe the top three fattest people I've ever seen in my life were all in the past week in Ireland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, dude. Because no, most of them are oh not. Most of them God, are not that fat. But yeah. you'll some. You'll see. You'll see some big ones. You'll see some crazy looking old people. Do they have? Do they have the vest dude, on? Yeah. Do they have a stopwatch? They have full, the full big, protruding. The big, yeah. yeah, the big fucking beer, beer gut from uh, all gu- the Guinness gut over their that, life that, that bats could live under. Yes, yes. could go up and make a, <laughs> a pensioner's a nest. It's, it's called it a pensioner's out so far gut. Forward. <laughs> it's called a pensioner's gut. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. What is a, pe- a pensioner? A pensioner is an old of a, person who's, who's on, on retirement. Yeah, they get so- social security. Uh huh. Oh, and okay. I made I made up pensioner's gut. I think that maybe that's a good thing. How seniors can maintain a healthy gut? They're, yeah, see, they all look <laughs> like this over there. That's what I would be doing if I was walking around with Thanksgiving in my belly all yeah. day, every day. That would be. I mean, no wonder they've never made anything interesting in terms of no, art. They also or have the most music. boring history of all time. Yeah, you go to these amazing. You go to these amazing historical castles. Yeah, which first of all, there, there, there's castles. So the castles are so cool because mm-hmm. uh-huh. it's they're ancient castles from the year 900 or whatever. It's before and they go, even knew they were Irish. These, you see these incredible. Well, also, most of them were not built by Irish people. They're built by the Vikings who yeah, were exactly. invading. So exactly. the Irish Way people cooler. didn't even do the cool exactly. thing Lee in their Erickson country. Is the, in charge <laughs> it was of all the this. people who were coming and dominating them and ruining their lives forever. Yeah. Um, you go there, and it's the the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your life. Uh-huh. We went to this old, like, crumbling, like, abbey that was, like, these ruins in the middle of a field. It literally looked like Lord of the Rings. And I was talking to the tour guide who was this old guy who had lived in that town, like, his entire mm-hmm. life. I was yeah. just talking to him about about it. And I was like, yeah, this is so beautiful. Like, the sky is so blue, and the this these ruins are incredible. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. You kind of take it for granted. It sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Well, but yeah, I mean, they're I living. Get that. They're living, living in the coolest place of all time, dude. I mean, we wake up every day. We see the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building uh-huh. right outside our yeah. window, and we. I mean, I'm not it's every American thing is bullshit, it. though. We don't have castles. Hearst Castle. Where's that? We don't have as many. California. That's also also most of the castles hey, in that's Ireland. That's a California castle. That a lot of it's, it's got. Cool. It's made out of like fucking. It's made soybeans. It's, you've never been to Hearst Castle? No, I've Dude, never been to. Cool, I really bro. haven't. Uh, I've been to L.A. maybe Hearst four Castle times is this, in my life. The, it's uh, the guy William Randolph Hearst that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, the, is this the one that the the house is all traps and trap doors and stuff? Or no, 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 no. no. That's H.H. Holmes. That's yeah. the Winchester Mansion. That's a hotel. The the Winchester, the one where the like the person who made the rifle, so they have all like yeah, the doors oh, that the, goes to the, nowhere. Well, that's a that's a lady who she was her she haunted was by a the widow. ghosts of all the people that yes. were killed by the and Winchester were, rifle. And she was building a big house to escape them. That's yeah. a different wow. story. That's cool. The Hearst Castle is basically this guy who's really, really William rich. Randolph Hearst. Yeah, yeah, he built a. He's the one that Citizen Kane's based on. Yeah, he yeah. built a giant house that was made it's made Xanadu. out of like it's yeah it's made out of like random shit from other like it, yeah he has like a like a 10th century like like a church yeah like walls and shit. well mm. so that's the thing about a lot of the castles too that we visited like a lot of the, the cool ones are the ones that are completely falling apart 
and are like authentic or uh-huh. whatever because most of the castles you'll go in and it's like this huge like it's castle inflatable. it's ju- it's <laughs> <laughs> it's huge and it's got like the fucking it's all built up and it's giant you go up spiral staircases uh-huh. and stuff and you'll the tour guide will be like yeah so this castle was originally built in the year 700 AD and the only thing remaining from that time is this wall right here and the rest of it we all yes. built 10 years ago <laughs> yes I know this I hate so that we, shit we restored yeah. it they do that in Boston quote. too yeah. I remember going to the, the Paul Revere house yeah. and they were like this is we not think it even might have Paul looked, Revere's yeah. house by the way <laughs> yeah. this is what it would have looked like is if he had a, cr- a, a craftsman style is that the one down in downtown no or no in no end. I'm thinking of. Um, I remember Paul going to Paul Revere's house. As yeah, a kid. didn't somebody yeah. who fucking being like this work there? It sucks. <laughs> it's twenty dollars to yeah. walk, and it's and it's a house from from the the 1700s. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's one room. What kid in Boston also you know, get learns about Paul Revere every year from kindergarten to eighth grade? And it's like fuck. I want to see his house. I need so to see right. his house. I want to see his horse. I'm yeah. so. His house. I'm so. Like, exactly. You get, you get a. He has to talk about it. The house. Yeah, the is house. A the house doesn't come into the story at all. Yeah. You get Revere yeah. burnout, dude. Complete Revere burnout. Yeah. I like his beach. I actually hate his beach. Yeah, his, his beach is the worst beach, beach in America. America. The worst <laughs> beach ever. He's got it's, a bad beach worse. and a bad it's, house. It's like Revere Beach, Hampton Beach. No, Hampton Beach is over. Hampton Beach is way better than Revere Beach. Yeah, yeah, is, there's on, no one buddy. there for that's a reason. True. That's true. All they well, have is like Kelly's. A, yeah, they have a Ke- that's it. That's the only fucking good yeah. thing there. Hampton Beach is fire. And Kelly's is not even good. No, but it's the only it's the only food they have like a boardwalk with yeah. one yeah. restaurant. The worst beach ever. Kelly's Somehow, is I mean it hits though, but it's not good. Don't it say hits, it though. hits. It hits, it hits though. Don't say it hits. Here's no. another thing about Irish history. Every single castle you go to, if it has a tower It was built by an alcoholic. If it has a tower, <laughs> no. they'll tell you every single time the tour guide will tell you, so this tower was built in this year, and then three hundred years later, lightning struck it and blew up the top of it. <laughs> wow. Every single tower they they tell you That's that lightning cool, knocked off the top of the tower. Cool. We went to one yeah. where they said that lightning <laughs> that lightning blew up half of the town because it struck the room where they kept all the gunpowder <laughs> in the castle. It truly <laughs> exploded. Ireland the truly, town. it truly is a a land cursed by God that God does not want to exist. No, yeah. trying yeah. to wipe He's it off the planet. Well, that's them. why. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they and all. They don't, that's that they don't even get light. Like they don't get lightning there because yeah. it's not hot enough. Normally, uh-huh. it's okay. so rare that li- every time that lightning is struck, it's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why like a monument people. to human <laughs> greatness. <laughs> Yeah, Ireland. Uh, they're uh, God's strongest people because he's constantly torturing them. That's why they're all Catholic. As somebody who's sixty percent Irish, man, I can say that that's. I, I do not claim. I have them. zero interest was, in going. And listen, I know I'm. I'm the only the, one here who has to. I have to. I'm not even defending myself because it's two against one. I know I'm wearing Unless right now. Jubio I know I'm talking a lot in. of shit, and I'm wearing a shirt that says Ireland on it, but. It that's a nice of, shirt. But How much one was that of, shirt? It was a hundred dollars. I'm <laughs> lying. I, I, that's not true at all. You was got it more? you got no, got, it was less than that. That was in the tourist store. Yeah. Well, I bought it because it was out of a tourist store. You think they sell this store. in like a what normal think, clothing store? Yeah. You think I thought they wove it somewhere? I saw they, they sold this at uh, Eddie Murphy Clothing. <laughs> yeah. You think I went to a, 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 a weaver and an old Irish yeah. guy, pulled out his loom mm. and made this I for thought me. that this was maybe the football store. team. Uh, one, of, I, one of my greatest pleasures is to go uh, that I've learned about this year is to go to a country and to buy mm-hmm. a piece of clothing that says the name of the country. On yeah, it. it's good. I have to be doing that People for the rest of People do that in America who live in America. Yeah. People buy shirts that say Montana on them. I see a shirt. Why that the hell are you doing that? New York, at least forty yeah. times a day, walking yeah. down the street. Dude, showing up in like a shirt that says like Brooklyn with the Statue of Liberty on it, and it's like it's not even in Brooklyn. Yeah, where did you get the, who? What is <laughs> where, this where did you find this shirt? I really D2? don't understand, man. They have a shit ton of those. They at buy D2. it in a different city. That's a a, a New York they get tourist. It in Jersey. Or, they they get it. They get it somewhere on the West Coast. Yeah. I have to take this phone call. It is regarding my boot on my car. Okay. Oh yeah. But you guys continue. Do we All just right. pause it or? I don't care. All right. Okay. He's he, we... he got the boot on his car because he's a delinquent who doesn't pay his bills. Yeah. Or tickets rather. And he has six children that he doesn't feed. Uh huh. He's and so yeah, for somebody for somebody who's only sixty percent Irish. Yeah, he's acting like real, <laughs> real. Here's, an, uh, here's another. Here's Irish another. Here's, I just remembered another thing that made me mad yeah. in Ireland. Um, you're, the, you're you like you went there and you, I had a you, I've always time. wanted to go. And you come back you, and all you do listen, is complain. Let me let me tell you something. You are such a pessimistic you would, you would person. Love, you would love Dublin. I know that you would you would fuck with Dublin. I'd probably like all of it. No, because the rest of Ireland is is it's a country that is a museum. Yeah. Yeah, there's oh, no, so it's, it's all, nothing oh, interesting. Oh, it's all, it's you know, all I hate ta- museums. Exactly, it's all towns that are that are one street, uh huh, and then and then everything yeah, else is, is a tour or a castle. Time. The pubs are not fun except for where there's a lot of people. 
Yeah. Because well, it's all towns. Well, yeah, it's all t- it's well yeah, when there's only like a few people in there, you're stuck talking to some guy who's like, Oh, it used to be a good country then yeah. then these fucking people moved you, in. You would li- you would like Dublin, but I don't think that you would fuck because you also don't like nature. And you don't um, respect God. I would like the beautiful country of Ireland because it's where no, you would th- you would I be exist. disappointed because you thought you had to like it mm. because of what you saw. But anyway, here's something that Maybe. pissed me off. I don't here's know. Something else that my tour guide said um, that well, first of all, he was talking about he was talking about biscuits. Why well, be going to Cork? He was talking about but that's where that's where my my lineage. That's goes where to. mine is too. Yeah. Whoa, but again, it's we're cousins. It's, well, probably. <laughs> it's it's just nature, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I didn't go to that. All I went to was Dublin, then a bunch of castles. So mm-hmm. I guess I'm not the expert on it. But I think I've I think I've got a pretty good idea of what goes down there. Yeah. Um, Where was uh? What were, what was your tour guide saying? So he basically. So first of all, he said, but tour this tour where I was with uh, my fiance's family, everyone from the south. Yeah. He said completely unprovoked. He was just like we were talking about how bis they called biscuits cookies or cookies biscuits or whatever. And he was like, he just completely out of the blue was like, yeah. And I think biscuits and gravy are disgusting. <laughs> I think that's the grossest <laughs> food ever. The fuck. <laughs> and, which is making me laugh so hard, not because of thinking that, but just because of saying that to a group of like <laughs> a group of eight people, people in the south for no reason, for no reason, and completely. Is had everybody everybody. Nobody was, oh. which also, and and so he said that, yeah. but right before that, what he had said, and and nobody said anything mean to him about this, mm-hmm. which I wanted to kill him after he said this. Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, he said he said. One of the Irish delicacies, one of our best delicacies that you guys have to try is we take two slices of bread, we put butter on them, and then we put crisps in between them. And it's called a crisp sandwich, and it's the best thing I've ever it's tasted. Called a, I thought that was a... Oh, no, never mind. Chip Buddy Chip is fries. Chip Buddy is fries. Yeah. yeah. I, and he said that was one of the delicacies. This is <laughs> the worst said, country biscuits on earth, and gravy are disgusting. <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> the country on earth. Food These ever. people need to die. This is so, right. so bad. Right. This you is getting always worse. take it way too this far. This is getting worse every year. No, I can't completely. believe we let the UN needs to send. So, we need to send people in all black outfits to destroy this country. They went and they wore all black outfits and tried to destroy England. I wish that the trouble. I hope the troubles come back fifty times worse. <laughs> people's uh, people's heads are exploding in the middle of the day. This is a bad, bad place. Man. You're have you're only saying this because there's a boot on your car and you're angry. I just found out it's gonna cut. They, f- oh, I hate money. No, you like money. Or That's I why like you're money. upset. I'm mad about dude. This fucking boot. Yeah, the boot you, on my you're car. You're coming in here with the sour attitude. You need to. I'm you, sorry. I'm sorry. You, about you come you. in I'm here. Sorry. You have to come in here once the episode starts. Nothing bad has ever happened to, to you. You have to think. About nothing, so you can't. You have to be boot, completely. It's zen. gonna cost me a thousand bucks plus a hundred bucks a day until, because my my fucking license. Uh, all right, to be a hundred percent clear, we don't need to talk a, about this on the show. I just want to say it's a hundred percent my fault. <laughs> right? Yeah. I this don't. Is why my you're car, so mad. My car. The tags are expired. My insurance is out. I remember. I, 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 is, is I think this has been this has been looming over me for a long I time. If I cast my mind backwards through time, I think I can walk through maybe 50 memories of you bragging about not paying a parking ticket yeah. over the past few years. You yeah. moving you moving parking tickets from Switching the, your the license plate, seat. <laughs> having your license plate stolen and saying that now you could get a new license plate and none of the old tickets be attached to I it. I thought that we could claim <laughs> that the person who stole my license plate got all those tickets, but uh, that would have been us reporting the license plate stolen two years after they stole it because yeah. we had two years of tickets. Anyway, yeah, I owe a thousand dollars and then a hundred bucks a day, and well, I that's have okay. to get an We're just gonna get a, a it's fine. We're gonna get a bump here. We're just I, gonna oh, get, get a really bump so. on the Patreon. We need, so we please go to the, the Patreon. I need it so so bad. I wish I could see the. I don't since I have no clock of timing. It's a. Uh, we started at twelve ten. Um, okay. okay. Anyway. What? Anyway, what'd you say? He said eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Eighteen. I I would like to say I've been I have been wanting to travel. Because I've been interested in some history recently, uh-huh. yes. and I've been watching this this guy Voices of the Past on YouTube. Have you guys ever seen this guy? No. He does. He reads like firsthand accounts of uh, like like primary sources from uh-huh. when like uh, the first embassies from one country to another in like the the 1600s and stuff. And I watched the one that was the sam the first time that the samurai, the Japanese, their embassy to Mexico. Wow. And the that first sounds pretty cool. The first words written by a Mexican about the Japanese embassy that comes into Mexico City is they have long hair 
they kind of look like girls. <laughs> that was the first, <laughs> that's the first <laughs> historical <laughs> record that they have. It was yeah. very, very. You got to be careful stuff. watching those those history videos on YouTube. Them. Though I'm addicted to them. I you got to be stop. careful on like specific ones though, because I I tried to look up the difference between like a Cajun and a Creole, and it, it was a whole race science video. They, yeah, that's they, not that history. I was that's like, like yeah, I was, was just trying to figure out what that what that was because it was sometimes they it's do, Cajun seasoning, sometimes they do, it's you, Creole seasoning. You can seasoning. really uh, easily stray into some bad history stuff without realizing yeah, it. Though, yeah. if you're if you're not, you have to be so hyper vigilant. I was I was you watching gotta make some, sure the, the that, thumbnail. This, and this is the most dangerous one. So I ha- I had my guard Robert up. Robert E. Lee, good or bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, even more honestly, even more dangerous than okay. that is if you wa- are watching videos on YouTube about Viking history. Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to be so careful oh, because yeah. you, d- shit you is... click on one recommended video. Yeah. And you're 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 yeah, gone. You're, 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 you're done, done for. Yeah. The because they know exactly is, uh, how to say, they know how to say it so that somebody who doesn't know it's a pipeline. Yeah, uh-huh. there's a the Viking history stuff is really interesting. How they were like the that's like the 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 people who are the 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 fucking royal family. The what are they called? The Winds, Windsors. Uh huh. The Windsors is that the Windsors is, is yeah. busy. They claim that they're like related to the first king of England, uh-huh. Uh-huh. but there was like fifteen kings in the middle that were just Viking guys who yeah. just killed enough people that they there was nobody left to be that king. Won, Vikings yeah. were crazy, you know. Like a bunch of the like Norse mythology stuff has been completely corrupted by or not corrupted, but like all because the Christian mission missionaries, yeah. all their like legends that weren't written down mm-hmm. got lost because they got switched out with like Christian stuff where they were trying to like. It's very crazy. There's a yeah. there's a uh, and that's another topic where you have to be really careful when you watch videos. Yeah. About yeah. <laughs> what you got to do? Religion you got to make mythology. sure you got to make sure that the person who uploads the video that their like profile picture is not like a knight from the Crusades. Yeah, yeah. or or, or, a, or, statue. Like, or a statue. If it's a statue, it's over. if it's a statue, it's don't over. click if on they, it. If they, you have to have the, the fat white this guy. One, this one's counterintuitive, but if the person feels a need to put a disclaimer at yeah. the beginning about yeah. what they're talking about, yeah, that's the danger. That's bad. Yeah, should be. You always got to have. You always got to have a fat white guy with a little goatee or something maybe a ponytail sometimes you can trust them they need to look yeah they need to look like um they need to look like a teacher yeah exactly yeah, yeah. but if that, they look that's like, a slippery and, and, slope yeah, too. if they're in good shape no uh-uh. no uh-uh. no 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 do you see a buff guy talking about vikings that is no, the most no, that guy no, no, has no. done a hate crime i do not yeah. want to see any of that shit man do not show me that that's going to ruin all my i'm not going to get recommended any more gambling videos uh-huh. it's <laughs> all just going to be this shit it's going to be like why do filipino people ruin property values exactly yeah it'll, it'll be on a history channel yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's called. Yeah. It's called like Jason history. Yeah, and it's just like these fucking Filipinos moved in. <laughs> it's not a good idea, man. Another now there's one, pool halls I, I everywhere. S- I saw one that was a, a, a the voice of the voices of the past thing where uh-huh. he would, he it was a Chinese guy who went to where did Viking where are Vikings from Norway uh, Viking uh, land. Scandinavia Scandinavia yeah. he goes to That's Scandinavia part of Scandinavia right so Norway yeah, and yeah Norway is. I, I and I've realized ninety yeah. percent of these videos these like first contact videos are just these people being like. I went to this other country. They are disgusting. <laughs> like this entire bit, he was like, he was like, it's the most. They're the most disgusting people. He said they're barely even human. He said that every morning a bucket is is passed around the entire village, and, and every every it. man uh, washes his hair, washes his face, blows his boogers into it, and spits in it, and then it goes to the next guy. Like it's a fucking like pirate movie. Yeah, and yeah. that's what they did every day. That's wow. true. It's disgusting. <laughs> The Viking, I'll say, it, dude, the, the Vikings had almost no sense of hygiene. The Vikings yeah. were kind of gross. They're they were kind of gross people. And now you get like, like, and it's, they had it's, 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 so, it's so funny. So, sorry, like the people, like, like the the buff racist dudes are like, well, Vikings only ate like salted meat and shit. And it's like, yeah, they were also fucking stupid. They're also the stupidest people in the world. All they knew how to do was like rape and pillage. He said they were seven well, feet tall. It, I, yeah, the, the, they were seven feet tall. They That's may have been stupid, maybe but I'm, the, maybe I'm the being Irish, weird. Here's some some other Irish history stuff is the like cities on the coast who would always get raided by the yeah. the Saxons, the, uh-huh. the Vikings. They it's something that's so funny to me is that they would get rated like like every year they would get rated the same time of year by the yeah. vikings but the vikings would always would just know oh these people are pussies and we can beat them <laughs> in a fight so they would just come back every year and fuck everything up and then leave yeah. and the town would just be like oh great and build everything <laughs> back and get more treasure and stuff and then it the vikings actually would come is back next somebody year is definitely and just do it again somebody's playing civ 5 yeah. yeah that's the only explanation it's so fucking oh, funny oh absolutely that, yeah. no they didn't weren't like maybe we should move a little 
Maybe we move, should move. move some. Yeah. Move, move towards the the center of this. The, the yeah. I also saw a video. Sorry, I'm, I'm obsessed with these videos. I recommend yeah. anybody watches a video. I wish this is what the episode was about. Me too. But this this guy, it was the the Japanese. The first time the Spanish visited the Japanese, mm-hmm. and again the Japanese guy is like. They are not even human. Their noses are four feet long. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and then he, t- he says he tells the story about it was kind of cool. He tells like the story of uh, or he, he says like they have this religion where their Buddha is a baby. It's so stupid. <laughs> that, but there's all these like paintings of like uh, Jesus as a Japanese guy. I'd never seen that before. Whoa. It was really cool. Those are sick. And he's got like a halo around his head. Damn. They have, like, they have uh, uh, Mother Mary as a Japanese lady. That's pretty tight. Yeah, they that drew, is sick. They drew the devil as It's a, so amazing when two a, cultures come together. I honestly love cultural confluence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This has got to be one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, I've could you to, imagine... I mean, personally, the, I've been trying to spread um, just Americanism. Yeah. I've been trying world. to spread my own culture. Yeah. Well, they have that everywhere. I mean, you can get like a Korean-style burger, Spanish-style burger. Exactly, Galbi and I'm burger. trying to further that. Yeah. We need to Chicken dominate... Wings. I do think hey, here's another fucked up we've thing. Done burgers, here's another we fucked up thing. Tell me. I went to a pub. No! For lunch, oh. I ordered, I said, I'll have the burger. They said, chicken or beef. <laughs> they do that in Australia. They call No. In Australia, they call chicken sandwiches. They do it sandwiches. everywhere else except here. Oh. They call chicken they do it in sandwiches, Canada, they do it in chicken Mexico. burgers. That is disgusting. Isn't that to horrible? Me. They call that, that, that like a physical reaction. A fried chicken sandwich. Chicken which is a different beef. thing. Which is a different thing. That is not a burger. In Australia and like every other European country, they call it a chicken burger. It's messed up. That is I fucking know, but I'm saying I experienced man. it firsthand. I know. And in a scenario where it should have been cut, should have been so cutting and dry. Cut it, should have been cut in half. Yeah. Should have been cut it was in half big. with a big it, knife in the yeah, middle. Yeah, exactly. Give me that. And it should have been a 10 foot tall burger. And pub cheese dripping down the side <laughs> oh of that my motherfucker. God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also done with smash burgers, and I'd like the burgers to be five feet tall again. Yeah. Red yeah. Robin, contact me. Um, that's your problem. You did order a burger in a, in a non-American Did you get fish place. and chips? I got fish and chips. Were they I? That's the only thing you can get anywhere. Yeah. You yeah. can you choose between a burger, fish and chips. Or shepherd's pie. Or, uh, Haggis. or cottage Haggis pie. Haggis is Scottish. Did you Scotland. have blood sausage? No, I've had blood sausage before, though. Hmm. I had it when I was in Scotland. I is got there's blood in my sausage. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like anything. None of their food it. tastes. It's all brown and black items that don't taste like, like anything. Like every yeah. other fucking uh, country Did has. You get a blood. spice bag. What's that? It's like a, they throw pretty put much all the shit every, in a bag. They put everything in a bag and then throw a bunch of spices in, it and it comes with curry sauce. Wow! And by it's the way, this is this it's is the not, brownest food in the this world. This curry sauce is not curry. The no. only green, no. the only green thing they eat is pea puree. Yeah, <laughs> mushy peas. Oh. Mushy peas. Yeah. And because because and I know I said they ate boiled cabbage earlier, but that it's not even green. No, it becomes completely it becomes white. It's brown, brown translucent. White. Translucent. It's literally all brown foods. Yeah. They have a, they're on a brown food diet. Mm-hmm. Did you feel like it was almost walking around? This is kind of political. Did you feel like Ireland was kind of Trump vibes? <laughs> Let me think for a second. No. Kind of lots of whiteies. Well, there's a lot of whiteies, but they're all like... There were a lot of whiteies. They're militantly woke. But were they woke or were they crackers? I saw a group of military men training and running around with Whoa. plastic guns. See, that's wokeism. Yeah. yeah. Get a metal gun. That's the woke army. Yeah. yeah. A microplastic <laughs> gun. Is that what it was? <laughs> Shoot microplastics <laughs> yeah. in your body to make you LGBT? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Go figure. And that's why they signed with Palestine. <sighs> Ireland does? They mm. do. Oh, yeah, they side with, but they're, but they they're fuck very, with them heavy. They're, but mm. they'll let you know that they do. In yeah. the first, in the first doing hour the of thing. <laughs> 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 they think they're do- Is that really why they think they're doing the same thing? They're, they're they literally, think they are yeah, The tour guide, that? With the first day that we met so him, was talking funny. I don't even remember how. Like, yeah, no no reason to bring it up. Yeah. It's like, and yeah, that's why we like side with Palestine, because I guess like we, we're used to being the underdog. Wow. You're well, yeah, that. they get fucked by the British for years. They don't get... They, they let d- themselves get fucked by the British. They pay taxes. They're in... Bri- they are That's British. That's Northern Ireland. They are British, dude. They have they a different British. accent. That's the only fucking we're, difference. We're not getting into this. Let's That's get into these That's the only lists. difference. I'm, you know how I know? My DNA test says 60% Irish and British. You are not the... Hello. <laughs> Chubio said hello. Chubio said hello. Oh, he's saying we need to start the... Yeah. the okay. okay. This is here. Yeah. You're thank right. God. I, I could talk and about Ireland Thank all God. Day. Thank Let God me. we did because I was about to... I've been, I've been holding my tongue this whole no, episode. No, no, no. Let no. me intro this here. Please do. So... What's the name of the person who said this? Sorry? Do you remember the name 
Oh, let me pull it up. But anyway, I guess I'll just I'll come right out and say it. We started a law firm. We did. Fetter and Doran and Pitts. International. FTP, or no. Yep. FDP. 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 Fuck the police. No, it's PDF. PDF, PDF is that's way really better. That's really good. Yeah. Um, Pitts, Doran, Fetter. We start, you know, a lot of these... A lot of well, isn't it alphabetical when they do that? It's none of the It's, it's, a, it's of an business. order of whatever letters are coolest. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's uh, you know, it's it's a lot of these lawyers that work nowadays. You see them; they wear suits. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. They're prim. They're proper. They're annoying. As long as I got my suit. And, and they're tie, old ass. I'm a legal. Yeah. They're court old tonight. Old heads. I think that the legal profession needs a little injection of young blood. Where's yep. the young blood? Right into the core Where's of the it. Zoom, where's where the elder the, Zoomers? Where are the, the elder lawyers? Zoomer lawyers? Where are the elder Zoomers who know who actually... Riz law. Who know? Because here's the thing, <laughs> exactly. man. Exactly. Riz law. That's what I'm saying. Lawyers, these are lawyers from the past. If you mm. ever created a meme that can, that uh, was your... Uh, you, you, your IP? What? Your intellectual property. Well, See, that, he doesn't know. Also, he's, also got a, you, he's got some lawyering to do. If you confess to a crime in a meme, the old guys, they're not even going to They don't know. even know. What's that? They're going to uh-huh. say, what's that? Well, that's, May that's May? Gonna, what's that? Yeah, they're going to say something like May May. May May. Right? And then now, May now all of a sudden, I'm catching an assault May May. battery charge. <laughs> They got a gun on a meme. Yep, and now I'm catching an assault and battery charge what because the fuck it's, are you thinking? it's pronounced meme. You know? These are old men who say gif <laughs> instead of gif. He took a picture of you with his telephone. What are you talking about? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean a picture with a telephone? I'm reaching over the stand. I'm strangling this guy. I'm trying to kill him with the, the, the plaintiffs. Yeah, he's like, or sexual the... assault. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have that when I was working. Exactly. <laughs> this is why we need, and this is what we do when we have our first, when we have our first meetings with people. Amendments? The Constitution doesn't have any amendments. Well, it has four. That's what he might say. <laughs> And then we, t- so that's what we do in our meetings with new potential clients. Is we yeah. say, and and, and they, this is how they understand it. We say, old lawyers be like this. Yeah. And then you do that. <laughs> no, do that. And that's yeah. the commercial. Yep. And it's like we're trying that, to attract uh, a different. So anyway. Yeah. Um, we're going we're gonna gonna to give, gonna give out some legal and advice this is today. Legal advice. You uh-huh. can take this seriously. Uh-huh. You can take this, this is completely. Hold yeah. us accountable for all I of this. I passed the bar exam. And this was sent to us by Bailey. And I don't know if you want me to say your last name, so I won't. Bailey, but we're going to say thanks, your Bailey. full email address right Thank now. Thank you, Bailey, for sending us this website. It's a good website. Uh, where it's called we're, Avo. It's called Avo. And it's uh, people post their. It's basically if you've listened to our doctor episodes it's practo but for uh-huh. the legal yeah, profession but yeah. the name so, the name derives from uh avo like i i have av- a legal question i have yeah. a legal question i have a legal you question want, the word for lawyers avocado damn in other languages in what <laughs> language every other language it's avocado yeah, yeah. really avocat oh well, yeah, but it's the same. It, they're same in root? French. It's avocat, and that literally means both lawyer and avocado. And I assume it's in Latin and Spanish and all that shit too. Because they're green on the inside. Yep. Yeah. Because they're not even. They got a like pit. Money. They got a pit at their yeah, center. I believe uh-huh. this. A cold, believe heartless this. pit. Unlike um, us. But so we're gonna give some legal advice on these legal questions that people have. So I'll go ahead and, and start it off here. Because <clears throat> the people Here's who are some answering questions on that people this ask. website are usually older lawyers. From yeah. Who don't? None of their questions. They don't answer anything correctly. Can I make a real Krusty Krab <laughs> restaurant? I want to open a restaurant from a TV show. Specifically, I want to open a Krusty Krab from SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. Is this possible? What problems would I run into with copyright issues? Who would I have to talk to in order to make this restaurant possible? Us. So, from a legal yeah. perspective, <laughs> yeah. talk to us. We'll, yeah. f- we'll fucking we'll we'll sort it. it all out. I yeah. don't think you can get in trouble for this because Steven Hillenburg is, is dead. dead. Has passed away. Yeah. So what right. is it? I mean, who's going to sue? Yeah, if they make, make the Patrick Star show, then you can make a Krusty Krab. Exactly. exactly. I don't exactly. understand why. Which again, yeah. again, question. both of these would go against his wishes. But what's he going to do? He can't. Yo, he what's can't he gonna he's going to roll you? over in his grave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People always say that. Oh, this guy's rolling over in his grave. That wouldn't scare me I at all. I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't be able to see it. His grave yeah, under the ground, he's six so feet. so far down. Suck my dick. I don't care if he's rolling over. I'm up here. Yeah. As long as you're not yeah. rolling over into my bedroom really fast or yeah. down a hallway. Yeah. I, I, I say, yeah, suck my dick if you can reach it. Ooh. Yeah. And I start dancing with my dick mm-hmm. out on his grave. Teabagging. But then that's, yeah. Yeah, how do you, you, then it's Yao Ming yeah. Yeah. under there. Seven foot wingspan. Uh-huh. Psh, grab Damn. your dick. I really like that this one. I just like this one says, I want to open a restaurant from a TV show. Specifically, yeah. I want to open a Krusty he had Krab. The, he wanted to open the a restaurant a from a TV show first. Yeah. 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 And then he it's, thought of the specific one. I mean, yeah. these old lawyers don't know SpongeBob. They don't know SpongeBob at all. Um... Okay, this isn't working now. Great. 
That's fine. Our life Great is Great job, over. Jubio. Okay, it's nope. working. Is it legal for your doctor to request to watch you poop? <laughs> I saw this one. <laughs> During my GI exam today, the doctor suggested that he watch me go so he could see where I was having problems. I said, okay, even though it seems strange. It made me uncomfortable. Is this legal? No. I like this because this is a... This is not legal. No, no, no. This is legal because this, is, this could lead to an entirely different type of medicine, which is that it's not what you eat. It's not no. the poop itself. It's, it's your way. technique. <laughs> the way yeah. you, you have poor technique that gives you diarrhea. Yeah. It's normal shit until it gets to your asshole, and then you bend your knees wrong, and it's water. Yeah. yeah. I can, I can I, see that. I could definitely see that being true. Definitely. But why also, not just put a camera in the okay. bathroom? You said okay, so it's legal. Yeah, that's true. also true. Yeah, you have no case. Mm -hmm. uh, is it illegal to hire a <laughs> hypnosis to control an ex-husband? I found out my ex-wife tried to hire a person to hypnotize me into signing passports for my children so she could leave the country with them. <laughs> That's legal. Okay, I will That's say... That's legal because what you do under hypnosis... Is, is weird. Still, it's very weird. I did not include uh, any of these in my slideshows because it goes against my feminist agenda. Uh -huh. But there is a lot, like a lot of questions on this thing that are like, I lied to get my husband in jail and now I regret it. <laughs> 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 Who should I tell? <laughs> there's like, there's like, I saw like 10 or 15 <laughs> different questions that were like, I lied and told my, told one was like, I stabbed myself and blamed it on my husband. Now he's oh in jail. What do I do? Oh my God. It's That's, pretty awesome. Yeah. This is a, such a good website. Yeah, I this really yeah. love this website. I recommend anybody check it out. Um, I had a landscaper bury a poop in my backyard during the job they did here. What can I do? Had a landscape company coming to work in my backyard. They finished yesterday. I went out there today, saw that my dog was digging up some things. I looked at it and it smell it and it smells like human number two. Human number two. This Dug about a foot down and realized that one of the workers and defecated in my backyard and buried it. Call the company. They talked to the guy. He admitted to doing it. <laughs> what can I do if they do not resolve this Human issue? Human number two. Who's this? Austin Powers? Come on. Who, how do they want this to be resolved? What do you mean if they don't resolve the issue? Right. The, re the guy has to come get it. his poop. They buried the poop. That's it's the resolution. The, 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 someone's looking in here, and I don't know why. They can leave us alone. Does it look like a mailman? It looks like a child. It okay. looked like a person. Well, and they waved and smiled and then left. Okay. Um, maybe we knew them. Uh, the, what, the, the sequence of events here, I don't believe at all. Your yeah. dog was digging at something. You looked at it. It smelled and looked like human poop. So you dug a foot down into the ground yeah. until yeah. you found more poop. Yeah, what were you, you were expecting to find a person down there pooping up? <laughs> digging a foot <laughs> down Why is you need Can you... I would, how would you info. be able to it's dig already, it's a shit. foot down? Yeah. That's crazy. A foot down. <laughs> to find more poop? To find more poop. Uh, but the guy, I, I guess, admitted to doing it. So yeah. he was right. right. Yeah, who knows? Um, I know this may sound silly, but I'm just wondering, is it illegal if a medium or psychic puts a spell on someone? I know this may sound silly, but I'm just wondering, is it illegal if a medium or psychic puts a spell on someone? If I went to a psychic and she did, did this for me against someone, would I or could I be in any legal trouble? Yes. Thank you. Yes, this is different from hypnosis. I would say... Because this is true, and hypnosis is weird. Hypnosis is weird. No yeah. one works on drunk people and yeah. women. But if you're... Like a, a, a spell, I feel like there's no probably legal definition of a spell, so I think you can get away there's with that. There is a legal definition of spells. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think a that spell a spell is any has, magic action. I don't think a spell any has magic made action that pertains to. Any magic to. words that have been said that pertain to or involve magic, which thereby lead to a magical action occurring or being incurred upon a piece of property or which individual. At, yeah, which ascertains property. Which at the time of casting the spell were unspelled previous uh -huh. to the spell's casting. See, this is he why... Knows, he knows the bar better than this you. This is on you the bar a, exam. I'm, I mean, I've, I've I only studied got a, the precedence. I only got a 20 on my bar exam. Yeah. <laughs> and, I got a 10,000. Yeah, and it's out of 10,000. <laughs> yeah, but I still let me pass. Yeah. Yeah. But we, they'll, yeah. They let you pass because you're sleeping with the teacher. <laughs> I was sleeping with the judge. Uh, I'm. This was. <laughs> I'm. I'm <laughs> also, this oh is God, this is the number one question. This is the question, is, this this is on the this question they have the most yeah, of on this, this website. Is this is the, the only one up that I put in. This one was making me laugh out loud so hard in my yeah. house. I'm gonna have, have trouble getting through it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm 23. I called a 15-year-old sexy just to be silly in the context of the conversation. Did I break the law in Ohio? 
<laughs> this was a message over a messaging program. No pictures, no sexy talking. It was literally just that one phrase, and it got me thinking. <laughs> It got me thinking. I called a 15-year-old <laughs> sexy just to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just to be silly. Yeah. 90% of the Your questions Honor. on this website. Your Honor. They're all, they're Your Honor, every, I yeah. was in a silly, goofy mood. Yeah. <laughs> every single question on here is, I'm 20, my girlfriend is 13. Is this legal yeah. if I only kiss her? Yeah. And all the, all the lawyers respond, and they say, yes, this is perfectly legal yeah. as long as you ask her parents' permission. <laughs> oh, God. I called a 15-year-old sexy just to be silly. <laughs> just to be just just to silly. How silly would that be if I called her sexy? Um, as a as a lawyer, yeah. What do you what do you, what's your take on this? Um, I don't know. I think you're going to jail for in, life, I, bud. I think in Ohio, this is a death penalty. Most yeah. crimes, uh, most crimes, you can usually get away with with the silly defense. You yeah. are but going in Ohio. Be this is this is beyond the pale. in Ohio. Yeah, in Ohio, the legal this system is not in Ohio be like most normal legal system in Ohio. Yep. <laughs> Wow. This is... See, that stuff that lawyers of exactly. our, our lawyers caliber... Get, yeah, 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 they wouldn't get that. that. Um, but this, you're going to... Uh, you're going to be fed Skyline Chili until you poop out all of your internal organs. Yeah. yeah. How's that for silly, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be... You can get silly with your license plates. You're doing custom ones and say stuff like cum and shit. Uh, I have... I have patronized a fried chicken restaurant for quite a while, and about two months ago, I had diarrhea right after the meal. I left my experience in their website. One week later, the manager called me denying anything wrong in their restaurant, and I still went their location for the fried chickens, thinking maybe I ate something bad in the previous day. But I had other small diarrheas a few times after eating the chickens. A few days ago, I had some serious diarrhea right after finishing the fried chickens. I suspected maybe they put something to make the chickens tender and tasty, that something could make my intestines suffer and having diarrhea that something could harm my health. I just wonder how I can prove my diarrhea caused by the fried chickens and that's something and hoping they can improve their chickens. Thanks. This I want to know help people out. Yeah. yeah. What did you what did you look up to find this diarrhea or chicken? Uh, yeah, diarrhea. OK, <laughs> mm. I got another diarrhea. Oh, one now. <laughs> All right, let's let's go no, to it. Let's see it. see it. I don't know if it's next because these are these are maybe the same legal. I don't think it's the next action we'll see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 this was my favorite one I found. <laughs> so I really want to hear you guys' thoughts okay. on this one. Can you use telekinesis to clear away a storm? I would like to know if you could use telekinesis to clear away a rain cloud. Yes. So, okay. No, well, you cannot. No, you cannot. Not this if is, it's over your neighbor's property. Th- th- oh, there's a couple yeah. Of th- okay, there's if it's s- over your own property, but if you put it on your neighbor's lawn, exactly. it is a problem. So you can move it up or down. Yeah. There's, there's two. This to is going to be flawless. This is going to be an issue in a in a civil case. You could have a civil case brought against you because, like you said, this could belong to your neighbor depending yeah. on how much sky area they have in their uh, uh, as their property line how uh-huh. high up their property line goes yeah right but also this could be a federal case you uh-huh. are interfering if you're going into airspace you are interfering with the epa's weather control devices Harp. that they have yeah Harp. exactly yeah. they have set all across this nation right so if they want to put this a, could even a bring cloud you of toxic acid rain above your house you don't have any legal recourse for that and yeah. you especially can't use i mean uh offensive uh, telekinesis 100 percent. and speaking of weather control i mean this could even escalate the issue beyond the federal level you could be even in the u.s and you could get in trouble with Israel. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to get in big trouble with them. Because, like maybe, yeah. again, you're, you're going to be forced to eat. I mean, all of Skyline all Chili, say, you're going to be forced to eat tabbouleh until may, you and diarrhea. Maybe, your, maybe this doesn't become a legal issue out. at all. Maybe you, mm-hmm. you, you know, you're tampering with rain clouds and, and, and you know, you catch the eye of a foreign country that maybe has a strong interest in weather control. Um, <laughs> you're going to be dealing with a lot more than a rain cloud. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, with they might want to deal missiles. with this in an extrajudicial manner. Uh-huh. And if you have and telekinesis, how about you do uh, your country a favor and enlist? Yeah, uh-huh. what the fuck are you doing controlling the rain? Yeah. How right? about making the world a better place by making flowers get taller, or become exactly. a magician and make the world a better place by making people smile? Exactly. Entertainment. Yeah, make birthday parties a little better. Uh-huh. I love magic. I am looking for a lawyer with the guts to stand up to <laughs> Facebook. I'm right here, buddy. I have received multiple bans for jokes and memes ironically taken off of other Facebook pages predating the current presidency. This is from 2018. Okay. One is regarding immigration, the other refugees. They keep removing them, followed by bans for so-called hate speech. <laughs> I have screenshots of the posts as well as original pic I, pic I tried to post. Screenshot plainly show Facebook accusing me of hate speech with the original post. Far as I knew, the U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that under the First Amendment, all all speech is protected, even if it offends. Please help. I will help you. 
We I will stand up to Facebook. I think we are the lawyers who will stand up to Facebook. We don't agree with you, you, but Facebook took away flair, and they took away the wall, and they took away pokes, a lot of poking. pokes. They took away pokes. We want that shit back. Yeah, we have the make guts messenger to back into the main Facebook app, and that's what we're gonna have on hats, and uh-huh. they're gonna be red hats that say that. Make messenger back into the original Facebook uh-huh. app. Thank yep. you. Yep, and take out the bots from Marketplace. Yeah. Yes, and Mark Zuckerberg gained some weight. You're too skinny. You're looking like a twig. I just watched the <laughs> social I'll snap network. You like a twig. I watched the social network on a plane. Zuck, you are a little weird bastard. Zuck. You look surprised. But you acted really, really well in that but movie. You I honestly, was surprised by how well you did Zuck, in that I movie. And you were you. good in Zombieland. I was just about to say that. Yep. You were amazing in Zombieland. You were amazing in Zombieland. But I didn't like you so much in Adventureland because I wanted to be in love with the girl in that movie. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. kind of cringy. And you, you that made in, me jealous. But you're the worst Lex Luthor. Oh, don't even get me started. What? Lex Luthor has hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Comic book nerds rise. Yep. Yes, comic book nerds. It's good. How about comic book nerds versus the state of Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> yep. That's a movie that will be. And we're gonna we're gonna do, throw away your whole case. That's our new case. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Here it is. <laughs> is it illegal to give someone diarrhea without their knowledge? And this is listed under civil rights. I think it is. I think this is po- a civil I think that's right. Technically poison. Yeah. Although the replies under this were all like, "What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. How would you do this? What are you talking about?" I think my mom has been poisoning me every single time I go home. Yeah. She'll mm-hmm. she'll leave out a ch- she'll like leave out chicken for like ten hours, and then I'll get home. I'll get off a flight. She'll be like, "Hey, I just made this chicken. Yeah. You want some?" Mm-hmm. I'll go, yeah. And then she, I'll be I mean, even if you didn't get poisoned, through eating it, and she'll be like, yeah, I made this at 11 a.m. and it's been sitting on the counter all day. She oh. could be jailed for lying. Yeah. Exactly. This exactly. We're, we're harm. Doing lying to your son. Case. We're doing lying a court to your case son against all moms. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Law firm versus moms. <laughs> I'm down. I'm mm-hmm. fucking down, dude. PDF versus I have, mom. I have yeah, a the PDF Supreme Court. Uh, my moms. client has a large list of grievances mm-hmm. that go all the way back to 2002. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This is a lot. He's been building a case for n- uh, near 18 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you are losing your house, ma'am. Um, can I file a lawsuit in what type against a recognized comedian for verbally abusing my <laughs> seven-year-old while left under his care? I saw my son today for my weekend visit today. Immediately, I noticed his puffy eyes. I asked him, what's the matter? He replied that he was left with Mike Kano, comedian, public performer recently, while his mother worked on a Saturday. He said he took him out, my son, to eat. Mike arrived to his home and demanded my son to carry his two-liter out of Mike's wow. vehicle. My son tried and said it was too heavy to him. He said Mike called him a damn bonehead and other <laughs> names he was not allowed to say. Dictionary definition, bonehead, bonehead, bonehead. Noun informal, a stupid person. Oh. For not being able to cater to him, he accused him of acting out to his mother when she arrived. He told me he never wants to see Mike again. He is afraid of him. He said while they were alone, he was very demanding on him. Mike Kano is a comedian <laughs> Ontario at Gold Star. He claims he is family oriented. Verbally insulting my son is no laughing matter. How can I proceed to to have this verbal abused stopped this roast okay. battle okay i'm sorry i'm sorry but this is pissing me off so much the war against comedians stops today yes uh-huh. first will smith viciously attacks nearly kills eddie murphy on the stage of the oscars right and now this guy is being accused, accused of child of, abuse because he says bonehead dude Come to the comedy cellar or the comedy mothership on any weekend uh-huh. night. Try that in a small venue. And if Bonehead, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, if Bonehead offends you, buddy, wait have you they ever say heard of the, the C word? word? The C word. Have you ever heard of? Yeah, C word. Crazy ass bitch. Cra- yeah. I, the B word. Cocksuckle. The, the F word. The uh-huh. fart muncher. <laughs> there, you are going to get so obliterated. Shart juggler. Matt Reif is going to say so uh-huh. much shit. Matt Reif, which I'm, now I'm remembering, it wasn't Eddie Murphy who got slapped. It was Matt Reif. At the, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've completely fucked that up. Matt Will Smith slapped Matt Reif yeah, at the Smith, Oscars. That's Matt really Reif, my bad. Matt Reif was on stage at the Oscars. He pointed at Will Smith and said, damn, you here with a black yeah, girl? Yeah, I'm really sorry. That was me. Yeah. I, that was me being racially insensitive. Mm-hmm. It was Matt Reif. Anyway, if Matt Reif gets you in his laser sights, dude, you're done. You're, yeah, bro. Your kid's gonna fucking kill himself. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. If Matt your Reif tells your to- kid to bring a soda to the car, <laughs> dude, what are we doing here, mm-hmm. man? The war on comedians stops today, and uh-huh. me as a lawyer, I'll defend comedians pro bono, mm-hmm. and they'll uh-huh. probably say something about that. Sounds like boner. I did. I stuff. found one on here that I didn't put in. 
that was <laughs> that was how can I find a pro boner lawyer? You know who put that in their slide? <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> save guy. it. We'll save it. <laughs> All right, we'll save it for Pat's. Uh, can I sir dentist for inappropriate behavior? My wife was told inappropriate sexual jokes. Yes. No, you can't. No, no you can't. D- There's dentist, dentist client dentist privilege. A, yeah, they have a oh, full Oh, yeah. Well, dentists immunity. are like funny doctors. Yeah. I got a headache from playing GTA 5. Can I sue Rockstar Games? <laughs> yes. Yes. And we'll do it for you. If I were to make a sex robot costume for Halloween with a screwdriver penis and appear in public, do I break indecency laws? The screwdriver has a small vibration motor attached. There are small square buttons where the nipples are that activate annoying lights and sounds beeping. Sex robot is stenciled on the back. It is quite obviously a joke and is not realistic in any way. You will be sued for copyright infringement from yes. whitest kids. Yes, yep. it's over for you. Uh, is it illegal to practice voodoo in the state of New York? Yes. This female is illegally practicing voodoo on me and in turn is making me very ill with her actions. Is there legal action I can take against her to make this stop? Because when I have asked her to stop, she is simply refusing and her lawyers, plural, are not helpful at all. She reports she is a witch and this is what she does. But her actions are causing harm and sickness and are based in evil behavior. It is illegal and we will protect you. But evil is not illegal. Voodoo is, evil is not illegal. Is not. Voodoo, Voodoo is. Wait, so uh, leave out the base and evil behaviors part. Because evil, evil is, behaviors are based. Evil, stu- but certain vectors of evil is in voodoo are not. Yeah. They're not okay. Do I have a case? No. Hello. I used to be employed with a company about seven years and endured a lot of bullying and harassment. I was called Patrick from the cartoon SpongeBob <laughs> and Megilla the Gorilla. I worked in two different locations and both supervisors called me those names. And when they spoke about me, they would refer to me as Megilla the Gorilla. I told them to stop and they said, as long as I work there, that would be my name. That, well, your <laughs> full name is Patrick Megilla. Yeah, you don't have a case. You right? have no case. <laughs> as long as you work here, Megilla the Gorilla will be your name. <laughs> also, Patrick from the That's cartoon so SpongeBob, you must have have a very long name if yeah. that is a, a shortened nickname. Yeah, God, it's so funny to get completely owned by your boss. Ask them to stop calling you McGill the Gorilla and say, as long as you work here, as that as will you be work, your name. Yeah. As long as I work here, that will be your name. Yeah, that's all my my all slides. Right. All right. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna go to my slides here. We're gonna look through some of these things that I found. So we were talking earlier, you know, all these old lawyers, you know. We're we're the, we're the new we're the new jacks. We're yeah. freshman class to yep. 2023. Yep. We're gonna okay. be in Lawyer Magazine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're gonna be we're Lawyer gonna Magazine the freshman. Uh huh. The lawyer the cipher. opening statement cipher. The lawyer yeah. the filibuster. That's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, yeah. We're going up against people like on, Andrew Tate and Chris buster. Griffin. We're gonna be going up against them. We're gonna be going up against Peter Griffin. We're gonna go against Gay Glaze. <laughs> you know all these people. Um, and this is the first thing I found, which is, uh, does a comedian violate any copyright laws by doing celebrity voice impressions? I do voice impressions in my children's birthday party magic act. I don't want to break any copyright laws. Can I talk like Kermit the Frog without getting sued? No. 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 The no. voice is You're the main done. thing about Kermit the Frog. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can't wear a hat with the M on it or you get sued by Mario's yeah, company, exactly. which is exactly. called Nintendo. Mm-hmm. If you use Kermit's voice, which is basically his Mario hat, yep. you will be sued by the Henson Foundation. Sorry mm-hmm. to say. Also, wait, was that from 2010? Yeah. That's the oldest question on this website. <laughs> Everything I found was from like 2019. I found some older ones. I really? Think. Yeah. I couldn't find shit like that. Can I break my lease after a week? From a severe roast infestation. <laughs> hey, did Matt Reif move in your damn oh, house? Damn. damn. Can I break my lease due to a roast infestation? <laughs> hey, did Matt Reif move in your house? <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Roast. Imagine roast. Matt Reif standing <laughs> under, oh my God, standing in the gutter like it, talking shit to your kid. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Where'd you get that yee yee ass haircut? <laughs> oh! Sewer. My kid. Wait, your dog is actually cute as fuck. Wait, your dog is actually cute Dogs as fuck. Dogs are my life. Did you guys come? Did you guys come together as friends? I actually love that. <laughs> I love that. Though. I actually love that. I love That's that. the, the best. I'm the best. Love that, though. The best Matt Reif clips are the ones where he's not. He's doing crowd work, but he's not roasting anyone. He's yeah. not really commenting on anything. He's just going like, "Oh wow, oh wow, yeah. oh wow." Oh, wait, wow. so you two are brothers? Bet. Wow, bet. That's actually yeah. nice. <laughs> That's actually and fucking he posts nice. To his Instagram and get <laughs> yeah. 300 million yeah. People are like, I just, I, wow, well, I saw you live when you came, when you came to Pittsburgh. I loved that shit. I fucking shit <laughs> you myself actually, laughing. You shouted out me and my cousin, and you said that it was cute that we were there together. <laughs> this next wow, one, that's fifty percent of his crowd work is that it's cute yeah. that you're yeah. here with somebody. Yeah, wait, else. oh, that's you're so here with cute. your mom. That's cute. There's that's this cute. one Wait, clip. Wait, I mom. actually love you her. You look hella young for how <laughs> old you are. No, is it your 28th around. birthday? <laughs> oh, shit. He um, posted this clip where he's in Honolulu and everyone keeps giving him a lay. 
wow. and that's the whole clip. Wow, that is, I minutes. actually feel fucking blessed as fuck for wearing this necklace. Yeah. And then blessed. he's doing the crowd work, and then a woman in the crowd goes, "You wait, <laughs> and goes, what the hell she said? <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah. Like, Yo! what the hell she said?" I came to Honolulu. I thought the whole crowd was gonna be waves and shit, but it's actually fucking, it's actually people and shit. Wait, but you're I actually you you're wearing volcano. blue. Your why is he wearing blue like a wave? Yo. I thought it was all gonna be waves and sharks and shit. I was low key scared as a motherfucker. Yo, I thought this mother, you're man, this volcano's here with a black chick. Damn. Yo, shout out volcanoes. I never seen a volcano with a black chick before. Damn. That's fire. Good for you, bro. I bet, I bet, I bet you hate hanging out with his in laws though, huh? <sighs> Yeah, two volcanoes. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Can I? Is it legal in the state of Michigan to pay a woman to fart for you? Just have a fart fetish and would like to find a woman to do this for me. But I want to do it. I want it to be legal. I would say that this if employment it's not legal, as an independent contractor <laughs> is a <the> category. <laughs> yes, is ten ninety nine for farting. This, not yeah. even. I mean, not even filling out a W nine on a guy, and then the, uh, the 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 like the memo just says like blasting. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I guess the question here Blast is not. This isn't. It seems like it's not about legality. This he want, he's maybe yeah he wants it to be. Tax. He wants to be taxed yeah. on this it. guy's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the government's always going to want to take extra money. Oh, if you, you want to do above board work, because I could buy that plastic sure. cup from you right now. Uh -huh. I don't need to fill out I'll no sell forms. It to you. Okay, how much? Two bucks. While you're doing that, I'll go to the next slide, which is, uh, what's to stop me from <laughs> making an energy drink and calling it Bottle of Jizz? I know, I know. Pleasure doing That's a really you. dumb name for an energy drink. But we have one called Pussy, and I, like I know that. for a fact a large group of people would buy it and drink it. It'd be a normal energy drink with the consistency of ahem, a bottle of jizz. That's not a normal energy drink if it has no. the consistency of jizz. Is make it taste like mango, though, because mangoes are delicious. It'd have all the basic ingredients as monster energy, but healthier and different enough that they can't claim I ripped them off. My question is... Are there any actual laws and stipulations anywhere in the USA besides California that would stop me from making such a drink besides and selling California. it at gas stations? California. They're going to outlaw all the hate jizz. Well, you know who else hates jizz? These old lawyers. Your drink is not a bottle of jizz. The mark is therefore misdescriptive. Of course, it is questionable whether there is any market for an actual bottle of monster jizz. Okay. Is not okay, a this monster is, yeah, this is a, 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 a mean, bag of Cheetos. Those aren't actually Cheetos. No. They're just little snacks. Yeah. Do you think the animal's a Cheeto? Yes. No, it is a Cheeto. Let's it's move. Let's just a let's not get a into Dorito. this. It's just a chip. Let's not get into this. You're going to get, he's going to not going right. to understand. Sorry, I'm going, he I'm, got a 20 on the water. bar. Sorry, I'm worried about my wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can a bail bonds man <laughs> call me and threaten me and call me nasty booger names? <laughs> So this Bonds lady has been texting me, calling me nasty names and threatening me, saying that she is going to send the cops to my house and telling me that I'm going to jail. Some nasty booger <laughs> names. That's fucking... Okay, you, first of all, booger names, again, depending, not allowed. On, this is, depending on where you are in the world, yeah. booger could names be can be really, really bad or, mm -hmm. or kind of fun. Misdemeanor charges. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody detestable at my school <laughs> rolled up a huge booger and placed it on my back. <laughs> How would you label this crime against me? Is it a battery assault with a booger? Yes, I was assaulted <laughs> with a booger. And what can I do to legally punish the transgressor in this in this situation? This is not a joke. This is absolutely serious. Would the police care and punish the, transgre the transgressor? Or am I supposed to accept assaults with boogers against me? Unfortunately. Yes, you are. You're, if it was at school... You're going to yeah. have to accept yep. it because but this you is will, under, can here's but here's the and thing. You're gonna be called booger boy here's for the, the rest of your life. Here's the wrinkle though. There's precedent for this. This person who did this is detestable. This is a detestable and he can, person. He has to and register as a detestable person uh -huh. and tell everybody. Excuse exactly. me. Okay. So, you know, I moved Hi. in next door. I'm, I'm detestable. detestable. When they go to a new school. I just want to let everyone know. Uh, my fun fact is I'm a detestable I'm person. A detestable I'm person. detestable person. I've put boogers on people before. Boogers on a kid detestable. with a rolly backpack. I'm a nasty, nasty, detestable mm. booger Hello, boy. my character trait is detestable. Yeah, exactly. Mm. How can I legally get my neighbors to turn their damn rap <laughs> crap down? <laughs> I live in a very small valley, and our newest neighbors think they can blast their rap crap as loud as they want and want everyone in the valley to hear it. What can be done to make it stop? This is Sadly, a nothing. Unfortunately, they a valley. there was a yeah. Supreme Court decision about six years ago mm -hmm. when Sicko Mode came out. <laughs> they, there was a Supreme Court decision. Apparently, in now this new America, Joe Biden's America, you can play rap music as loud as you want. Uh -huh. In any valley. Do in the especially valley. in the valley. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, neighborhood you live in. It can be flat. It can be a valley. Uh -huh. If you live on a mountain, you can play your music as loud as you want. 
and this is a big loss for Patriots. I would say that if the mm. if the if the uh, the framers were here, they would not be accepting this. No, no, you know, if no, they were still alive, this is not what they wanted. And mm-hmm. if Antonin Scalia was still alive, he'd be. Would have been. Be and going, there was another. There was another. There was way. another ruling pretty soon after that, just because I know people are going to be curious about the corner cases, where if you're blasting Lincoln Park, yeah. you have to turn it down for the Chester parts exactly. and turn it really loud for the Mike Shinoda parts. Yes. Exactly. Uh-huh. And by the way, I went to a pub in california recently that was owned by one of the ex-members of fort minor wow and, uh, I met did him. you meet him yeah which one it's you didn't even say white that guy with like with uh i don't know them by I, their i don't know his name by their names i don't know his name but he uh that i had some chicken wings and they were really really bad yeah wow well but he's friends with my brother now so that's pretty yeah. awesome maybe we can get on a track with him yeah. i would love to get on it i mean i i would love to collab with the, him. but the whole song is about how his wings are bad and he the doesn't pub know. is pretty we cool though do the a distract cool. <laughs> yeah, and then the, then his verse is it's just in him downtown defending new the wings. hall yeah. california go check that out some gay ass crap <laughs> happened. I was cited for underage drinking and urinating in public. Went to the bar and nature called. Cop wasn't thrilled and wrote me a ticket. How can I fight this? So you can't. You no. So I would say that you could get off easily here on what is called the cool defense because yeah. the fact that you're yeah. keeping it up through this whole thing is one. It's very cool to underage drink. It's very cool to urinate uh-huh. in public. But the fact that we have evidence of you being cool online in the in the aftermath, yeah. saying some gay ass crap happened. Yeah. He's not worried about this. And at saying all. another nature called. Yeah, exactly. That's Ace Ventura stuff. That's another. Another, another possible defense you could look into that would be the defense I would choose if you chose me for your case is the why were you looking there defense. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm underage. Are you gay? I'm hearing it's a wall. Pedophile. What are yeah. you looking you're at? Gay, why you're you're looking pedophile. at my I was trying to kidnap my pee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's what I would tell yeah. them. Yeah. I would say, uh-huh. what do you do? Wait, you have. You have uh, gloves. Are you? Are you, what are are you, you Michael do? Jackson? He he. Well, that. But also, are you trying to use that glove to scoop up my piece? So you can exactly. go home and jerk off to it later uh-huh. because you are what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. And now the cops in jail. Will you go faster so I can get to mine? <laughs> I want to sue Fortnite. How? Yes, W. Fortnite banned me. I want back on. Fortnite <laughs> banned me. I want back on, but they won't let me. I spent like two thousand dollars on that game. So can I sue them? Mm-hmm. How can I find a pro boner lawyer for a sexual harassment case? Mm. Buddy, I think all of them are going to be pro boner. I think boner. that that's got to be yeah. some kind of joke It one. was a yeah. joke one, and there was oh, a description was? that he cropped out that uh, made it clear. Oh, I didn't read that. I just saw that. But look at this oh, one. Okay, okay, okay I will redeem though. myself. But he cropped it out, though. Pro bono. But, uh, if my wife and I, same sex, have a baby through a boner. I saw this one, too. <laughs> that affects my immigration paperwork. Yes. <laughs> Farting, trying to get our kids back from <laughs> DHR, suing DHR for desiccation of character and discrimination. Farting. Oh, this is the last one. Can you adopt a <laughs> mentally retarded adult without permission? <laughs> without permission I, is so crazy. I'm, okay, I'm going to say. I think there was honestly, a whole thing. No, I don't no, think you can. No, you can't you can't I think that cannot. probably is not going to work out. For there you. was a whole like description of this where it was very, very, very like like they were like, um, like the lawyer now controls my like mother's estate or something. So it's like a weird. It's a very weird I, the, legal the thing. The backstory I don't want to hear. The backstory, uh, but that is, is not funny. great. But that that phrase right there is fucking crazy. Okay, yeah. here's mine. Could this in any way get me in trouble? A girl was giving me a hand job. She initiated it, and it was very much consensual. <laughs> Sorry for the lewd detail, but during it, I asked her if I could ejaculate on her breast, and she said, no, you can't come on me. Later in the hand job, I came, and while I got semen on her hand because she was giving me a hand job, it was not a problem. She did not seem to mind it at all, and I just started overthinking it later. After we were done, I asked her if everything we did was okay, and she said, yeah, I had fun. I had no intent of coming on her. <laughs> when she said, no, you can't come on me, I thought it meant I can't purposely try to come on her body. I, thought it I did not think it would include her hand, which was giving me the hand job. I thought that was quite obvious. I don't know if this is a silly question. I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Any insight would be very much appreciated. Thank you. You are so going to jail. Compared you are to, going to so jail this is, for I'll show 10 you an, years. I'll show you my reaction as a, as a new lo- young lawyer. Okay. It's all good, bro. Here's an older guy's reaction. Uh You are on a public forum communicating with professionals. The subject of your question is not offensive, but the manner in which it was described is very offensive. There are three forms of communication that every person needs to learn. One, the way you talk with your buddies over a few beers. Clearly, you've got that down. Whoa. Two, the way you communicate with teachers, coworkers, and people in authority. It is more formal, but some slang is okay. If you respect your girlfriend, then she falls into this category. Three, more importantly, is the way you communicate at a funeral to a judge in court, police officer, or to professionals on a public forum. If you were sorry for the lewd detail, 
you should have spent a few minutes thinking about how you were going to communicate the facts in an appropriate manner. You need to read the room before you speak. Damn. Wow, so that's this from this is Patrick kind of Steinfeld. This is from Patrick Steinfeld, who oh, was a, a, a wrongful death attorney in San Francisco. <laughs> well, because he God, gets all how, the jizz. How fucking crazy is oh, it yeah, to be death, to yeah, be a, a lawyer you're working as a lawyer and mm-hmm. you're like well it's time to to log on to avo.com and scroll through the sex crime section right, yeah. 200 <laughs> words about can, this yeah, guy who accidentally jizzed yeah. on a girl's hand <laughs> uh i was accused of peeping and i was charged with class c misdemeanor with fines i have court soon should i pay the fines this is great okay i was looking for an associate in a woman dressing room <laughs> where i work at and saw a roach, and I jumped on a stall to escape it. <laughs> and a woman from the other stall saw my hair and said I was peeping. She was a crying, and I said I didn't mean it. Now I have fines. I didn't mean it. What should I do? Should I tell the judge what happened or pay the fines? Again, for me, I'm saying, oh, dude, a roach? I'm scared as fuck as bu- yeah. bugs. This Jump. older lawyer says, saw a roach and jumped on a stall to escape it? <laughs> Seriously? You should find a local criminal defense attorney as I've soon as possible. I've seen this guy a lot. This guy is Gary all Ralph over this website. Ilmanen. Yeah. Uh, will I be arrested? I was in a private room at strip club and I touched her private part. She didn't say anything <laughs> and no one come to room and said anything. It was quick, quick touch. Will I be arrested for this? Yes, you will be yes. arrested. You are going to jail. You it's are going up. to jail. Uh huh. Does being charged with a video of bestiality <laughs> mean that such person would no longer be allowed to have pets? A video of bestiality on someone's camera roll, not of which person being charged, a random person on the internet, but it was in this person's camera roll. Could this charge, if found guilty, make it so this person would no longer be allowed pets for a certain amount of time? Why but are you putting this in your camera roll? Put yeah. it in your bookmarks bar or exactly. something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a folder yeah, in a folder and on your bookmarks. It homework. Yeah. Come right. on. Put this in, a, in a, an encrypted folder on your desktop yeah. that says that says yeah. you can't be trafficking. With, you can't you can't handle this kind of weight. I'll say that. Uh-huh. No. Put guy. it in. Put it in a zip file called boring pdfs yeah mm-hmm. that'll get you getting away with that. why is that on your camera why, why would you ever need it on your phone at any point whether you have exactly. internet or not i think that i need this in case i'm on a plane and this guy's in seattle i so think they may be oh well, wait oh, seattle. seattle yeah this is seattle fine. you mean the birthplace of mr hands yeah this is completely over. yeah i didn't know this was seattle this guy is not in trouble He's at all not getting yeah. in trouble. they're gonna give you extra pets is it illegal to like a boy who 18 and you're 14 they're a youtuber who 18 <laughs> and i like them and my friend 14 would it be illegal for them to date yes yes so this is at first but I the thought, youtuber would not think it's illegal at first i, th- I like this question because at first i thought that it was a, for, a, a 14 year old asking uh if they could or if they were allowed to date this YouTuber. But yeah. I realize now they're trying to explain. They're so trying to they, set up. They, no, 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 they're not. They're a YouTuber who 18 and I like them. And my friend 14, would it be illegal for them to date? They want oh. to know that it's illegal so they can say, I have to date the, the yeah. YouTuber because you're yeah. only 14. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and this guy says, ask your dad. <laughs> and this, this uh, I liked, I included this because this lawyer's answer came with all these disclaimers about this not being artificial intelligence. Yeah. Uh, that came up with ask your dad. And they're not your attorney. Meanwhile, us, we are your attorneys. We are all your attorneys. Yeah. yeah. We are your attorneys. We're, we're do, actually, now that I think about it, we're kind of doing a Breaking Bad Better Call Saul thing where if we're lawyers, every, all these Patreon subscribers who are giving us money, we have a, that's a, a retainer. Client. Yeah, we have privilege. We have, we have uh-huh. privilege. We have privilege. So you wow. can tell us anything. Yeah, in the comments of this video, Say post anything all the- of your legal questions. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Go post ahead. all your legal questions. We can't and tell you can anybody. admit to crimes. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. If you get attacked by teen girls, can you legally defend against them? Asked in Dallas, Texas. During a talent contest, a riot broke out. I am a male staff member. I am considerably weaker than averages. At some point, a pair of teen girls who were rather large (laughs) attacked me. They were whomping my skull, (laughs) face, and upper body. So when they chipped some of my teeth, I lashed out landing blows after several minutes. The other staff separated us, but I ended up being checked by the paramedics. They chipped a few of my teeth, blacked both my eyes, and broke my nose. But I was written a fine for assault, but I won against it. They were not punished. They had many bruisers, but nothing serious. So technically, who broke the law? Them or me? Well, you won the case. <laughs> I just love him telling his whole story. They'd be like, so technically, he's not trying to sue them. He just yeah. says, technically, who broke the law? Me or them? Yeah. Uh, but this guy my got skull. whomped by two rather large teenage girls. Yeah. Is it a hate crime to call your roommate a F-A-G in Texas? <laughs> roommate is terrible. I called him F-A-G. He had the cops come. <laughs> they said it would be a hate crime if I did it again and left. He is it's not gay. <laughs> he called the cops. He is not gay. He called the cops on his and roommate. And he called the cops on his roommate. <laughs> 
That's actually that's you know what? If he's trying to get the other guy to leave, yeah, kind of the perfect petty thing to do. Pretty good. Yeah. Right? yeah. So Can I be convicted of murder? Yes. I let two, this is such a crazy one. I let two of my friends use my apartment. I come home with blood everywhere and two dead bodies. My friends are dead, and my blood may be in the apartment, but I really don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I get to be fair. My blood might be in my apartment right now. Oh, I don't know. But I my really blood is all over. Maybe my I apartment. bled into my underwear and it got kicked under my bed. My uh -huh. blood may be in my apartment. My blood might my be friends, in there. I let two of my friends use my apartment, <laughs> and I come home with blood everywhere. Two dead bodies. My friends are dead. My blood might be there. But, but I, I don't really don't know. know what happened. I don't know if the my and blood is there. And he got this advice: you must not say these things on this <laughs> site. <laughs> Just promptly get a lawyer. It's actually pretty good. He's advice. got an yeah. avo rating of 10. Yeah, no, this guy's a killer. Barry health hand, more like Barry helping hand. Can I sue a TV show for using a picture of me without my permission? I got a, this guy's in a bad situation. Yeah, Jesus. I got a call from my brother one evening saying that I was on an episode of Forensic Files as a suspect for a rape and murder that happened in 95 <laughs> oh and another God. one that happened later on and a picture of me was on the screen. However, I was never questioned. The picture of me was from me complying with an investigation in my area willingly and was taken out in front of a pizza joint <laughs> It wasn't even a mug shot. <laughs> what can I do about this? It's representing me as a criminal, and I have no criminal record. I'm a law-abiding citizen. That's insane. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. That's Holy shit! Can you shit. imagine your girlfriend is in? The, you're 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 playing you're playing Fortnite or yeah. whatever. Your girlfriend's in the living room watching Unsolved Mysteries. And yeah. She's like, hey. You need um, to come in here. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck did you just do? <laughs> you walk in, it's paused, and it's a picture of you. Suspect <laughs> for a rape and murder like that happened in 95, and another one that happened later on. Pizza. Yeah. No. <laughs> Look at this criminal. This, this is from his criminal this is rape. rape. Shot. <laughs> That's so funny that they you would call him never the pizza rape. Because I, guess, yeah, I guess they wouldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. That they're doing that. Yeah. The fact that it's not yeah. a mugshot is so funny. That it's just I know. a guy out. <laughs> just, <laughs> they just yeah. asked him. Yeah. He's like, hey. Yeah, he, he thought he was going on the wall for being the thousandth customer. Yeah, he, yeah. He, you ate the most pizza here today. Yeah. <laughs> well, they probably just, yeah, they went up to him and were like, do you know anything about this? And he's like, no, I don't know. I just work here. Yeah. 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 God damn, dude. <laughs> Is it, this is the number one suspect. How can I sue if I had a bug in my drink from a restaurant? How can I sue if I had a bug in my drink? And then this is the last one, I think. Can I sue a daycare for a roach being in my <laughs> child's ear? The daycare has a big infestation of roaches they are addressing. I took my child out of the facility a month ago. My child was seen at urgent care. The doctor said it had been in there for some time because it was dead and causing her a fever. I have proof of the roaches inside oh. the facility, along with cold food served to children and videos of how one teacher talked to my child and no action has been taken. And that's why my child is no longer I there. Can, I can accept the roaches in the place. You like know, cold it's, a, food. it's a daycare. Cold food, no way. Disgusting. Something you, that's my a, kid goes to daycare, he gets a hot PBJ that's been left in a car. Exactly. Something that something that I, I found out about one of these, I didn't put any of these in. There are a million of these ones. Uh -huh. Um, that apparently is a real medical thing, but there's a bunch of questions that are, can I sue the hospital? My newborn baby ate poop. <laughs> I almost put that one in. There's 20 of them. Yeah. Uh, it's apparently a I thing found, that babies I, do. I, there I was one that I didn't put baby. in that and everyone was says, like, no, you can't. Babies no, do that. Babies do that. Dogs there was, do that. There was one I, I didn't put in uh, that was, what happens if my baby eats poop during delivery? Yeah. That's, that's, all stuff that's like on that. you. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. That's on you. You're the one who pooped. Exactly. While pushing the baby out. Well, it's the baby's own poop that it's eating. Oh. All right. I have to go um, give the state. So what day is money. the the shareholder the meeting? Twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third shareholder. So go ahead and subscribe. In the oh yeah, I'll be in Washington D.C. trying to uh, spending all of the money I make on a uh, a boot that's attached to my car. Yeah. On the twenty fourth or the twenty sixth, I'm there with Adam. Yep. And subscribe God to the damn. Patreon. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. Bye. Patreon. Bye. Bye. Slash podcast about list. Subscribe to the YouTube. Yeah, that too. If you're watching on, get us to 10k. We're almost there. We're almost there. We are almost there. I think that right now we are at 99. And let's try and get. And let's try and get me to six foot six. Let's get Cameron tall, y'all. All right. The hypothetical is this: Would you rather? be a hand or a foot but you don't get to pick whose hand or foot you are so you don't get to be like Dua Lipa's foot yeah. you have to say I'm going to be a like hand Dua or I'm Lipa's. going to be a foot I just I didn't, is that a per, I just made up a name is that a person yeah oh, well I didn't She's, fucking know uh, uh, from what I know from what I I don't know much about her I think that she is maybe like the prime minister of Albania 
Let's see, who's this? Dua Lipa's feet. <laughs> okay, back to my question. Uh -huh. Would you rather be a foot or a hand? No choice on whose hand or foot. Probably a hand because it, you, know, you I mean, I could pick up pencils. Okay. I could get, no, I could, here, I could get the, all up in them guys. Here's the, here's the thing, okay? Uh-huh. You don't have any control. You are just sitting there. You just, everything, it's basically you're a face. So I'm Where a everything just like, gets shoved into your face. Uh, like I'm a vegetable. You are not in control. Yeah. So, so it's like, like I'm a, I'm completely a, awake. Yes. But you're a sentient hand. Yeah. Attached to a person. And the person controls my every move. So you're going, so if you're a hand, you already chose hand, so you're locked in. Yeah, but feet, you're feet, wiping you're in. ass. And buddy, I've wiped my asshole before mm -hmm. and I've missed, I, the toilet paper's in the wrong place. Poop on my finger. Mm -hmm. I've picked up every disgusting fucking thing in the world. Yeah, that's true. I've touched the tongues of tons of animals at zoos <laughs> that have been eating disgusting <laughs> slop. Yeah. Right? I jack my off. Jack I jack my, my off. off. <laughs> Every other day, I jack my off. Yeah. I touch my, bee my bees. I touch them. <laughs> I touch my bees, and I jack my off. Every other day, at least. I sit on the couch, right? Uh -huh. I sit on the couch. I rewatch girls. I hold my bees. Uh-huh. Well, you just, you front, front of the I grab them the from pants. the back. Yeah? I go around. So here's the problem. If you're, you're my hand, going around. I go So you're not, you're not just touching. You're touching the, the, the T as well as the B's. I credit card through my cheeks. Uh-huh. Above my T. Uh-huh. Grab the B. <laughs> grab the B's. <laughs> no P. No P. Can't even reach the P. <laughs>